Hey guys, on Wrestling Mayhem Show 329, this is where we talk to G Raver and Scott Saren, G Force of RWA, the new tag team champions. We see what all the touted is about, and uh, we still get some submissions by a wrestle fan, even though he isn't here in the Indy Minute, Mad Mike's Minute of the Mayhem, and so much more. Raw 1000 is coming up. Are you ready? Mayhem Show. Parental discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 329. I am Sorgatron here at the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we're ready for a pretty big show. We got a... We got an on-location interview coming up with Scott Saren and G. Raver of RWA here uh, in the first hour. Uh, but with us, as usual, on the couch is Chachi of InsertCoin to begin dot com at Chachi says. Pow! There you go. That's for AJ. Pow! Wow. There Pow! It uh, oh, there it is. Pow! The last one. Turning him down. Pow! Okay. Also with us is DJ Lockbox. Hey, it's DJ Lunchbox on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Pow! Yay! Pow! <laughs> also with us is the Riz. Pow! Pow! And Bobby F. G. Town from Johnstown, PA. Oh. Pow! <laughs> this is Wrestling Mayhem Show. That's Chachi. This is Whoa! Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yay! Put it back on Where we like to be fans. Tell them, Chach. Pow! Hi. <laughs> You're listening to the greatest fucking podcast on the internet where we listen to you. Bam. I mean, pow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can find us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, including some fine articles by Mr. DJ Lunchbox. Still got to read today, sir. Uh, but uh, yes. yeah, but great stuff over there. Uh, where also you can find this show here on your iTunes video and audio, uh, on Blip TV, on your Roku player, on Stitcher, amongst other places. Just look for Wrestling Mayhem Show wherever you're at. We're probably there with a lot of spaces. Be sure to uh, uh, star us, recommend us to your friends, leave comments, leave uh, uh, reviews and stuff like that so other people can know what they're getting into. If you enjoy it, please, please spread the love. Also, you can drop a line to... Good times. Good times at Show dot com is the email address. We read all email. the emails we get from you, and we read a good bit of them here on the show. Uh, you can also drop us a line at the uh, hotline at four one two two zero six WMS zero. That's nine six seven zero. And we're on Twitter, of course, at Mayhem Show. We're on Facebook. We have an open group on there where we're having a lot of discussions. So go, please, look that up and join us there. We let everybody in for the most part. Also, we are on Google Plus doing stuff we don't have a hangout this week guys uh we're uh trying to fix uh, whatever's going on with that that has been dropping out uh but if you uh circle us wrestling mayhem show on google plus we'll circle you back and uh you can jump in uh in the hangouts also be sure to check out we have the wrestling mayhem show uh app on ios including your ipad it's compatible it's a universal app and it's also on android devices through the uh, download the app amazon or app store the dollar into your house and eat all of the delicious food stuffs that you have in your fridge and your cupboards and everything in your house i will just fuck your mouth if you don't buy it Download the app. It's I'll got fuck your links. Mouth if you do buy it, <laughs> it's got links. It's got extras. It's got videos exclusively for the app Download that you're not going to get app. anywhere else. Download it. Download the app. 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 I don't know. Download the app. He's going. Ow! Chachi is broken. The Chachi, Chachi just broke. Yeah, that was, that was, that was tremendous. He's having an episode this week. He is having an episode. Is that a good um, thing? Uh, we may yeah. name the show Chachi. <laughs> what the hell? You playing Mega Man? <laughs> no, that's the sound from I Want to Be the Guy. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, if you want to know what that's about, check out Let's Play over at Insert Coin to begin. I am oh, sorry that, that it right made before. noise. <laughs> I am sorry that it made game awesomeness noise in your mouth. Hey, hey, what? You heard we're me. trying to make. We're trying to be professional here. We are never <laughs> professional on this show. That's true. It's been ten minutes, and we've had two threads of people getting fucked in the mouth. 
Well, and well, ow. that's fair. No, that's no. Fair. Liz's was a threat. Mine was a promise. Yeah, <laughs> mine was an offer. <laughs> Incentivize. Professional. Elfie's was a gift. There you Professional, go. my <laughs> ass. Wow. Well, on that note, like I said, we'd like to listen to you, uh, for better or worse, sometimes. Uh, but we got a few voicemails this week from Big Freaky, uh, and there's a couple of interesting questions. So uh, let's uh, let's see what he has to say. I thought the knockout title match was great, but however, I do have to question Brooke Hogan's involvement in TNA. Period. I and mean, I heard Dixie Carter's conference call with the media back in May. You know, she, she's bringing star power and mainstream audiences to TNA. It, it, is the ratings reflecting this? Because i got to tell you, if any Q ratings being bumped up, it's Brooks by being on TNA. Because I don't know, when's the last time she was even on the radar in the entertainment industry? Uh, but if she's on TMZ a lot from her dad feeling her up. Uh, but I, I don't know, Brooke, I don't think you're going to see ratings from Brooke being on the show. I can't imagine there's an expectation for that. Right? She's horrible. I mean, it's, I, it, it's barely, like, she just pops she, up and, and I don't know. Although the weird thing is, cause she shows up and she's giving like these sponsorship opportunities to little girls, right? And it's like, it's like, it started reminding me of Wayne's World, the movie. <laughs> right? You know what I'm talking about, where the guy came uh, yes. and they're doing sponsorships, and it turns out that he's going to take it. it you know, he's he's going to take the show away from them uh, with their sponsor, and it starts compromising their values and everything. I want Brooke Hogan to be the slimy guy from from uh, from Wayne's World. You want her to be Rob Lowe? Yes, That's I Rob want Lowe, Brooke man. Hogan to be Rob Lowe. She's almost Rob Lowe. I, think I don't like penis. that. I'm a big Rob Lowe fan, and I don't appreciate your candor. <laughs> but you, but is anybody that, else that watching? That is a big slap to Rob Lowe. I, I'm it sorry, is. Rob Lowe, but I think I think Impact <laughs> is jacking your Wayne's World mojo there. I think you should be Christopher Walken. Jacking your Wayne's World mojo. <laughs> no one's title. ever said that before. No, that's the title. There you go. There you go. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think of the Brooke Hogan situation? Do you care? Is it just like, yeah, all right? But uh, you know, what, what do you, what do you think? Is she naked? No, she's not naked. I it's on care. Thursday nights on Spike TV. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. I don't. I don't care until she talks. Then I really don't care. Then and it gets awkward. She's off my TV. No. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, she she shouldn't be there. What about you, Bobby? I don't know. You watching Impact she's at all? Insane. I forget. She should sing. No, oh, lip, lip sync. Shut your mouth. Mm-hmm. Lip sync. Have them. you heard her fail the uh, uh, music career? <sighs> Refail. Uh, Refail. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, it's not on Direct TV. Sorry about that, Zero. Uh, <laughs> oh. 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 Well, oh. Watch any TV because it's little windy outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a cloud coming going over. It's uh, it, it's something else. Um, yeah, we had another one from Big Freaky. Thanks for that. Um, of course we did. What? We of got, course we did. Oh yes, we did. And, and Freaky actually has some good questions this week. So here, uh, this is, and, and and I think this is already maybe a little bit past because of uh the, the events of the last couple of days. Hey, hey, Styles, Christopher Daniels, an amendment to a song that should be familiar. This is the feud that never ends. He's singing. It's He's singing. On my Shit. friends. Shit. Well, God, God, it's it's ten singing. years ago, and wow, it kicks off. I'm ten God, I'm years God. later, it's never <laughs> gonna stop. This is the feud that never ends. Oh God! There you go. Lamb Chop did it better. Oh. Lamb Chop did it better. <laughs> so uh, he thinks the feud's been going on for. Uh, yeah, that's one of those that they keep coming back to. Just like the Joe and Angle. It's just uh, that's their that's what they do. Hey, 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 and you can't get mad about the match they did at uh, Destination X. So oh, I'm sure he can. I I'm sure. He, yeah. So, anyways, I can I need to get Brooke Hogan off my screen. This is kind of this is kind of a creepy picture of her. Ugh. Um. All right. With that, is it is it her dad rubbing suntan lotion? No, on no, it's not that one. It's not that one. Um. So Balls deep. 
<laughs> Hulk Hogan, balls deep. Uh, <laughs> the brother. He just reminded me of that. Um, and other than that, hey, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, we, we started this week. Mad Mike actually had the idea. Uh, we, we started doing um, some live tweeting during uh, the pay-per-views and, and Raw and everything. We hope to continue that. So uh, be sure to chime in with us. Like uh, we, we got a lot out of uh, Matt Carlin's uh, the other night. We had a, uh, I'm trying to find her name. What was the new tweeter? Uh, that we started getting involved with uh, new new uh, new age Amazon. Amazon. I want to give a shout out for her because she was pretty entertaining Sunday night and last night as well. So uh, so go 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 check that out. We've been doing a lot of stuff <laughs> uh, with that and retweeting and 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 just having fun with it as we're uh, you know we were at Buffalo Wild Wings of course for the pay per view and and uh, last night in the hangout together. So Sometimes. a lot of stuff a lot of stuff comes out of that uh, of course. So uh, so go check out at Mayhem Show of course as usual. And, uh, and we, you know, have a blast with us. <clears throat> uh, and with that, I, I think that's all the fan interactions we have uh, here for this week. We're a little late on it, but it'll be back next week. You send your emails in. Let us know what you Good actually, times. actually, t- should we talk about the new initiative, LB? Yes. All right. Yes, we should talk about the new initiative. All right. We'll I ta- feel Chachi's about to walk out. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Well, he doesn't He's have either going to walk out or shout a bunch. Yeah, that could be. That could be. <laughs> Both. So you guys, I, both. if you you watch WWE, and you probably do if you listen to this show, uh, you are very well aware of something called Tout. Tout! Oh, come on! You knew it was coming! Fuck you guys! And... Is he gonna go through a pizza crust? There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a, we've been playing with it a little bit. Uh, I've been playing with it a little bit. I don't know if you guys on there. You, yes, I, nope. I, I I am. I know Bobby's exactly. been kicking. You I'm there. Kicking. I'm on there and Keek. I got two videos. Sir. No, I I'm Sorgatron on there, just like my my uh, my Twitter and everything. Um, and what are you? Are you Bobby FJ Ten as well, sir? I think so. You think so? Has anybody else uh, signed up for it yet? Nope. 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 Wheels is. Wheels, Wheels is. Wheels is on there. So uh, I, I'm sure you follow one of us. You get all of us uh, I don't linked think together. Chachi is. Chachi's not going to be on there probably. Gotcha. Uh, ever. Fuck you guys. No, ever. <laughs> But Chachi, it's like visible tweeting. Fuck it you. is. It is. It's only 15 second videos. It's nice. They're using it. They're, they, you saw it on Raw last night. You saw it on SmackDown. I, I, I'm not sure if they showed any of it on uh, on the pay per view. And they've shown John Cena's videos, of course. Uh, so the wrestling fans, they're already there. So why don't we go where the wrestling fans are? So if you want to tout us instead of doing a phone call and email, go ahead and, and do that. Tag your. Uh, uh, the, the, Tag your uh, touts, uh, hashtag WMS, uh, so we can find it. Or if you want to share it with us, uh, use your share options there to email it, tweet it at us, or anything like that, so we can find it. Um, and we'll show them on the show. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please go check it out. And uh, and it, should we the other interaction thing? Should we get into that right now? Um, what other interaction? What so so we we were always big on like get getting fans to spread the word about the show right and with that you know you gotta you know let's see if we can get mayhem show on raw or smackdown or whatever they're doing this right huh. now you guys gotta be smart about this you can't just be like ah, oh, effing wrestling mess mayhem show and you're not gonna get on raw you really mm-hmm. have to be smart about this uh because I, I, i'm talking go on with the real question you, you're seeing this kind of stuff that they're pulling up especially like right now with the uh thousandth raw thing um, but if you're doing, you know, if you're doing the town thing, if you're doing a lot of commentary, uh, if you're doing things, figuring out what kind of stuff that they like putting on there, um, which, so, you know, tow the company line for WWE, but be subtle about it. Like wearing wrestling mayhem show shirt, having a sticker on like the bookshelf right here over your shoulder, something like that to get that logo on our, on how many millions of television sets via your town. Um, you know, just like just like we've seen guys in the past, you know, putting Mayhem Show signs up in the crowd or something like that. Um, whatever you can do. If I see the logo for Wrestling Mayhem Show on Raw, or you, or maybe I don't see it. Maybe you clip it out off of Raw and you send it to me. It has to be. It has to be whatever was on Raw. Uh, we got we got stuff. We got all kinds of prizes here. Um, AJ submitted this a, a while ago. Uh, Mad Mike just sent, sent this. Now we got a few TNA DVDs still around that I can't. That I won't get into that. Um, but uh, and, yeah, when we're talking like these are like three DVD sets that we're gonna we're gonna hand out here. If, if you get in there, 
on Raw, on a pay-per-view, on SmackDown, on... S- I don't care if you're on Superstars, to be honest. Because I know people watch that in other countries, at least. And we're internet- Is that NXT? Um, What's NXT? I'm not going to count NXT because it's <laughs> technically not on the internet yet. Um, so, yes. it, 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 if you send me something like that, and that you're, you made it to Raw, and you got the Mayhem Show logo. Maybe it's on the computer behind you, something like that. It, it can't be the focus of the video, because I, don't, I really don't think they're going to pick it. But however, just just use your head, guys. Get get get, get something in there. And, be stealth. Uh, what's that? Be stealth. Be stealthy. Be stealthy with it. And we got DVDs for you, real DVDs there. These things aren't even open. So, um... And so, so there you go. The challenge has been laid out to the Mayhem Nation, uh, and we hope we hope uh, we hope to see some stuff out there. What if I, I get said, us on Raw? What, if you That's get right. us on Raw, then I'll yeah. give you one of these DVDs. I don't want one of those DVDs. Then I'll I'll, I'll treat you. Then to, I'll give you a hug. Josh. I'll treat you to a uh, a grand sandwich at uh, Denny's. Oh man, the grand sandwich! <laughs> no, Chachi man, di- Chachi discovered the grand sandwich. Get uh, in my mouth! After our shoot with RWA this week, oh, which man. leads us right into the Indie Minute. The Indie Minute! Hello, Wrestling Mayhem Show fans. This is the Russell fan here. I'm not in the studio this week for unforeseen circumstances. And by unforeseen circumstances, I mean the Mayhem Show drug test that nobody seemed to tell me about, uh, to which I reply... My bad. But that doesn't mean there's no Indie Minute this week. I will be delivering your Indie Minute right now. More information has come out as what the role Sarah Del Rey will play coming into the WWE, and it's rumored that she may not even be wrestling. There is a good possibility that she will be used as a trainer for Divas coming up in FCW. So, there's a good chance that that flavor of, you know, great women's wrestling and, you know, hard work and dedication could be injected into these Divas through teachings from Sarah Del Rey. More information hopefully will be to come as to if this is true, and we will keep you updated here on the Indie Minute. More information has come out about Ring of Honor's tag team title tournament that was created when Kenny King jumped ship from Ring of Honor to TNA. More teams have been announced, including a CZW team of Blackout, Ruckus, and Sabian, who also wrestled during the X Division matches for TNA. The tournament will span out through their TV tapings, and ultimately the finals will end at the Death Before Dishonor I pay-per-view. If you want more information on Ring of Honor and how to get tickets to their events, go to ROHWrestling.com. This Sunday is also a big event down here in Texas for Anarchy Championship Wrestling, as they will be holding their 100th event. I won't be talking too much about this event, because if you want to learn more about this event and the match card, you can go to WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where I wrote a write-up about all the matches that we will see at that event. But if you're in the Texas area and you want to go see that event live, you can go to AnarchyChampionshipWrestling.com and order your tickets there at the Mohawk, 912 Red River Street in Austin, Texas. Come join us for an amazing time. Also this weekend was Renegade Wrestling Alliance's recent show. I don't know much about it, but I know that Sorgatron Media was in attendance, so I believe they will be talking about it more coming after this segment. Also, IWC Wrestling has a big event coming up in the month of July called Proving Ground in White Oak, Pennsylvania. Sorgatron Media will be in attendance for that as well. If you want more information on that, go to IWCWrestling.com to get your tickets. And if you would like to try out any of the DVDs from IWC Wrestling or RWA, you can go to SorgatronMedia.com slash store and pick up the selections from all of IWC and RWA. Thank you for watching this week's Indie Minute. I am the Russell fan, and I hope to see you soon. Hopefully, if I don't get suspended and I only get fined for the wellness policy. See you soon. <laughs> Fucking shit. I want want his schedule to still suck so he keeps doing these. That's awesome. (laughs) That is great. That is great. What's up, Josh? What's up, Josh? First off, you know how I I sound when I'm reading from the teleprompter? Yes. That's exactly how it sounds. But it was so good. It was well edited. He he stole my my sign off. What? (laughs) The whole. (laughs) The the pointy finger thing? 
junior motherfucking toddler. <laughs> Oh. Well, he's right. We were at our uh, interview. But first, yeah, since he had it, I, I wasn't going to talk much about it. We talked a little bit about last week with Logan Shula, of course. There are some new announcements with IWC Proving Ground, which was really Young Talent Initiative is a sub subtext to this uh, uh, show coming up in White Oak, PA. Whoops, I'm on the wrong computer. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, I'll bring that up here. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, the usual stuff. There's a lot of faces that I, I've never heard of before to be honest jordan lennox uh matthew hd cannon uh brian mcdowell and uh, uh mike rain andrew palace so uh these are new names new faces uh and of course they got uh they already have of course gory versus chase owens aiden vale against jordan lennox chess flux or Schuler, like we talked about last week uh so uh, it, yeah yeah it's gonna be uh, if you want to see guys that it's a cheaper show. It's going to be uh, ten to twelve dollars uh, for you to go check out if you're in the Pittsburgh area. And of course, we will have the DVD here uh, through SorgatronMedia.com for you guys to check out afterwards. You'll be able to see the trailer and everything uh, like we usually do for the DVD, so you can kind of see how it turned out. So you'll see a lot of the highlights of it, and you can decide whether to. What do you mean how it turned it out? out? I will. I'm I mean, filming. I'll be ringside. You're, it's you're, I'm work sure amazing. the filming will be fine, Shachi. You do a great job, and It'll even, work amazing. An even better job with that camera that we upgraded you to. Uh, it'll be amazing but of course you know it, but it is a lot of younger talent so you never know so it'll be great to see uh how that turns out as usual just just go check out uh iwcwrestling.com uh for for uh the information as it goes they'll be announcing matches of course uh through the next uh few weeks so go check that out. and check out aftershock justin plumber has been doing a great job with that show uh dalton castle's on there uh great stuff uh yeah, um, and with that, uh, well, RWA was this weekend. Um, yeah, it was. <laughs> and we filmed that. You're going to see the teaser here in a little bit at the break, uh, uh, and and go check out the wrap up also at youtubecom slash RWA Pro, uh, where they talk about a little bit about the show. But in the meantime, we got a chance to catch up after the show with uh, the now new tag team champions, G Raver and Scott Saren. Hey guys, Mayhem Show on location interview this week. We're at the RWA show, Resurrection 3. Is it 3, is it? Third one? I believe so. I believe so. Oh, you go fours, threes, back and forth. I'm, it's hard for me to keep up. And I'm doing the DVD, so, you know. Um, just, we'll get that information later. We'll, yeah, we'll get that later. You'll get the preview right after this, and hopefully I got it right this time. Um, anyways, I'm here with the now new RWA Tag Team Champions, G. Raver, Scott Saren, a new one. Is this their first time tagging up tonight, guys? First time. First time. First time. First time. Excellent, excellent. Um, so I guess, well, like, first of all, well, you know, how was uh, how was the first match together? Uh, I feel like it, it really went well, and I feel like it was something that uh, a lot of fans uh, were asking about for a really period of you know a long period of time, you know, and it just it just never kind of happened. And I think with what happened today, you know, uh, especially on top of the fact that I knew that you know Jay Ice had those tag belts, made perfect sense to me. Um, you know, to pick a partner like Scott, and I'm glad he, he was there to be a part of it. Yeah, especially uh, Ice was out there running his mouth constantly over and over again, and uh, they finally come back to bite him in the butt today. So, excellent, excellent. Now I know I know you're new to the situation with Jay Ice. Yes. Uh, now Raver, you had a pre we talked about it on the Mayhem show a bit. You had a pretty tremendous uh, TLC to open the damn show last <laughs> month. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about the TLC match? Um, I mean, not so much as I think uh, how much it, it it took out of me to to do that to finally get what I worked so hard for and what he had uh, put me through hell for so long. What was great about what is happening now, not so much as me winning the Cruiserweight belt, which I love to death, but it was more so today that I think I got my full satisfaction out of it. Because where was Jay Ice a couple months ago? He was, it, this look familiar, Jay? It does look familiar. It looks like you were holding these same belts. And now what are you? You're on a downward spiral of failure, and I'm glad that I'm a part of it. So I can make your life a living hell. Excellent, excellent. Because we talked about talked to you a couple months ago, uh, Aaron Wheels on the show. Uh, talked to you a bit. We know you're from the Chikara uh, training. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background. Where'd you come from? Uh, come locally from around here, from Uniontown, PA. Okay. Uh, was trained by a guy named Tank. Okay. Went on to further the training by GM being trained by the Human Suplex Machine Taz up in New up in New York. Uh, excellent guy, excellent guy. I learned a lot. Learned a lot. 
Uh, that's pretty much me, man. Was that part of that uh, Team Taz Jojo yes, that was going Taz on? Now, Jojo, uh, Joseph Brooks also here with our debate was up yes. there. Um, I think uh, Bobby Shields has been on the show was yes. up there. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that experience? Uh, it's a whole new experience for me, actually. Uh, I'm not used to being around all those different guys and just a whole shock almost, I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. Uh, but I loved it. I loved every second of it. Awesome. 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 Well, I have a couple questions there for another uh, interview, which I think you might have scared out of the building with what happened tonight. Uh, so uh, a few of these, I think, are pretty valid questions that we can uh, share with you guys. Big Freaky, big contributor to the show, always sends us stuff when we uh, have guys on, especially here locally. Uh, so he asked, uh, uh, catch up with it. He didn't use spaces, so uh, yeah, that's Facebook's fault for the it, most it's part. Pretty it's a little yeah. tough. I mean, I, yes, we're yes. just working on Facebook, you know. That's all right. Um, well, first of all, you know, here at RWA, it's been around for over four years now, I believe. Uh, why, uh, why do you think wrestling fans should go out of their way to attend RWA shows? Of course, this is a good bit out of the Pittsburgh area. So, I don't know, what do you think? What, what do you guys have to offer out here that you think is different from anybody else in the area or even across states? Um, I, I feel like what... What a, what a fan can benefit from coming to a show like this is that with our with the guys that we have here, I mean, everybody, I think, has their game face on, and they know that from the start. The minute they get here, I think everybody is on the same page with wanting to go and tear this place apart. Give these fans, no matter you know if there's four or five people out there, um, that's been something where I've always done that. I've, I've even had people question why I do the things I do in front of two or three people, four, ten, whatever. And I'm like, well, they paid to come here to see a show. And I feel like I robbed somebody if, 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 you know, they left here unhappy. So, and I think everybody, uh, especially with Cato's influence, big influence here on it, uh, has everybody at an all time high as far as going out there and performing on the level that, uh, you know, everybody knows that they can. And that's what I think will bring the excitement to the table. Uh, all or nothing right there. <laughs> well, definitely. Just like he said, everybody from the opening match all the way to the main event brings 110%. And you can't really ask for more than that. Awesome. Also, you mentioned the crowd. This is definitely, I've always been kind of over on, this crowd is one of the most into it groups I think you'll find at a wrestling show, especially in this area. Absolutely. So. Oh, definitely. Like, I, I've seen, like, you know, at times where the fans, I mean, they give reaction. I mean, just some of the shocking more ones and more, or ECW-esque ones where I never thought that they would kind of, you know, be implemented. Um, you know, the, the holy S chances or the, you know, you know, stuff like show, that. That's yeah. We're good. <laughs> okay, We're good cool. Here. Shit. <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> but like, you know, having moments like that happen, I think surprises the hell out of me sometimes. And, and seeing those fans developing into that kind of thing is, is really cool because it's a little bit of everything. But the fans are great. I mean, they give us give us that much back to what we're giving them. So definitely. definitely. Every single moment I'm here, I love it, man. That's pretty much all I can say, man. Awesome. And uh in your opinion, and we're going to the big leagues, uh, seeing what's going on up there. You always want to see what you guys, you know, you know, here fighting locally or in the region stuff. What you think about what the big guys are doing? Uh, you know, what do you think WWE and TNA are doing wrong these days, other than hiring you guys? Because <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, that's the that's the quick answer. No, I understand where you're going. It's like I'm, it's a sour subject with me. I think with with some of the bigger companies, honestly. I mean, I, I grew up loving them, of course. I, I always was that kid, though, at the same time that, that loved ECW. And, and I, I, you know, at the same time of loving WWF, you know, what it was doing at that time or whatever, WWE, if you will, um, you know, WCW. I loved all those promotions, but I still had that, like, oh, ECW is awesome. It's better than this. Um, I think right now, my thing with the companies and what, I, what I've done is I've, I've, you know, I've watched the pay-per-views. I've watched Impact. I've watched Raw. Um I get I get disappointed, and I think it's because I have high expectation. Maybe as a fan, and knowing that the, what these fans would like to see happen, it's almost like whenever they say, "Oh, we have a big announcement tonight," or like, "What was it on Impact the other week?" Uh, a groundbreaking news on Twitter uh, that it was going to send the Twitter by storm. Okay. I saw so many messages that said, oh, I think it's going to be, you know, Ultimate Warriors coming back, mm-hmm. you know, or something crazy that would be really, really cool. But it's not going to happen. It doesn't end up happening. Uh, it ends up being a ploy of actual, you know, uh, it was Bubba Ray Dudley came out and actually tweeted. And that was that was that was bringing the fans in to tune in for a tweet that he was literally tweeting. Uh, 
that was going to take the tweeting by storm. And it's stuff like that that bothers me because I think people get high hopes of seeing something amazing mm -hmm. anymore or, you know, at WrestleMania. I've seen great matches, but I also miss the, oh, my God, this person's back, you know, or the surprise or the, or the wow, they did this. And I, I feel like that's, that's lacking that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. yeah, at the same time, like you said, there's ups and downs in the companies. Uh, definitely a lot of ups and downs. Uh, but I myself, I'm actually entertained by it a lot of the times. I still love watching it. Every single one of the programs, I love watching them. Uh, you get bored sometimes with it. You get entertained by sometimes with it. That's, that's with anything you're watching. But uh, I myself, like I said, I'm still entertained by it. So Awesome. Awesome. Um, of course, you guys are a lot closer to the fans here to be able to listen to what's going on. Definitely here. I mean, this is one of those shows where there's no guardrails. We saw stuff got right out in the crowd tonight, which is always our first. I know us as as wrestling fans when we first discovered the local Wendy's, that was the thing that got us into it. So, all right, let's see what else you got here. Um, now, there's something we've been talking about on the show, and we discovered something. We actually discovered a friend of the show, XC, uh, alumni here at WA, Eric XC is part of this. I think it's Fiverr is the site, cameraman Chachi, thank you, um, where uh, somebody will... If you pay him $5, he will cut a promo on you and, and send you the video or something over the internet. So, would you cut a promo on somebody for $5? <laughs> Absolutely. I think it would be pretty fun, especially like if I didn't know who they were at all. Like, <laughs> nobody. Like, just their name. Be like, you know, Heather Burke or something. I'd be like, you know, like Heather Burke. What kind of name is that, right? <laughs> be like, screw you, Heather Burke. I'm coming for your, you know, underwears. <laughs> or like, <laughs> I don't know, like it would be so much fun, especially like, I don't know, it reminds me of the greeting cards like that you can record messages in, kind of like that. <laughs> I could actually, do you, get, you guys, you guys up for something just off the wall? Just, uh, sure. you want to you uh, give, a, give a sample. Let's give you someone you don't know. His name is WrestleFan. He's in Texas. We think he may have used a big Can Canadian. Um, and give me one more fact about him. He'll... Yeah, he's 12. He's 12. And somehow he's in college, but uh, you want to go first? Yeah. All right. Russell Fan, I'm not quite sure how or why you got from Alberta to Dallas by the age of 12 and you're already in college is ridiculous. But I tell you what, when I make my way down there to the Lone Star State, I'm coming straight for you and I'm getting some answers. <laughs> that was really good. So now I'm in a spot where I'm like going to be goofy with it. I was just waiting for you to give him like an LOD tell him tell him braver. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that was good. I actually really liked that promo. <laughs> I really liked it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ridiculous here on this one. All right, wrestle fan. You want to come see me in that very ring? You don't have these. WrestleFan, you're 12 years old. You belong in preschool. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you actually belong in high school, if I'm correct. If you're 12, if you have one of those conjoint... I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyway, WrestleFan... You're 12 years old, and you don't have these, and you've never stepped in a ring before. I wish you no luck on your birthday wishes. <laughs> Blow out those candles, because there will be nothing for you after I come to you. Uh, is it? Are you? Wait. It, it, I don't know where I got that from. Am I, are you channeling Ultra, Ultraman is Black or something there? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. It was a little bit, actually. And that was, like, not even on purpose. It's like when I come out the ring and I do the fist thing. That's, oh, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's like Rey Mysterio, and I don't even know it, you know? Wow, I don't even know. I was gonna, I was gonna do a kind of a running question. I don't even know if I can. I, you know what? That was great. That's good. Thanks, guys. You can check them out. Next show is August 11th, I believe. Crazy stuff going on there. Their site uh, for RWA is RWA. RWA. Blah, blah. RWA. This got me cool. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> RWA Live .com. And uh, anywhere else you guys are popping up, you want to tell them about? I uh, don't think anything coming. Uh, I probably will be in West Virginia at some point for Kobe promotions. Kobe, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, August. Uh, yep. That's about it. Yep. 
Same, same thing. thing. Same thing. Oh, Kobe. Go check them out if you're down in West Virginia for Kobe Pro, right? Kobe yeah. Pro. Um, I think John Fun. I think you're down there. Go check them out if you weren't planning on it. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Here on the Mayhem Show. Let's uh, take it to whatever we're taking it to next. Well, as we just found out from Niels in the chat room, the new tag team is actually going by G Force. So, congrats on winning the titles and thanks for the interview, G Force. Let's go see with a little preview of what's going on in the gold and a teaser of the RWA DVD. What's up, brother? You're tuned into the Wrestling Mayhem Show. That's right, folks. <coughs> <laughs> nope, it's oh, over. Oh, he does it. Oh, and I want you to know that the neighbors down the street behind you are probably really pissed off at me. Are you? Did, did you pee outside? No. Oh god, I forgot what the two things are. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can we go back to that YouTube <laughs> thing? Hold on. At the end of this... Oh, wait, wait, you... Oh, I remember it now. What's up, guys? It's DJ Lunchbox. Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And this week, I would like to uh, discuss a little segment that we like to call, remember when? Next week is the 1,000th episode of Raw. That's awesome. I think it's going to be a great show. It's going to be three hours. It's going to be special. They're going to have lots and lots of people coming back. Uh, It's going to be, they're going to pull out all the stops, just like they did for the 500th episode of Raw. Remember the 500th episode of Raw? Seriously, does anybody remember the 500th episode of Raw? No. Uh, no. I, I don't have anything. Sorry. Nothing. Nobody's got anything. Let's hope they do a better job on the 1,000th episode of Raw. I, uh, since nobody remembers the remember when, uh, let's have a quick question to uh, all those present. Uh, what do you want to see on the 1,000th episode of Raw? Zorg? Uh, it not suck. No, it, it, seriously, I, I, I don't have any expectations. Um, I'd love to see, I don't know, like a surprise comeback that we don't expect. It, it seems like that their comebacks are like, uh, really, uh, we're Stone Cold when I'm looking at this thing. And actually, literally, I'm looking at this thing and there's everything that's being teased in this graphic. We got DX, we got The Rock, we got, oh, I don't even know what that is about a question mark for a GM. Uh, we got Brock Lesnar, we got uh, the title match we found out last night, and we have a wedding. What more do you want? You know what I don't want to What see? more do you want? Because everything! You got a title match with the Money in Bank briefcase. The Rock does crazy shit. DX does crazy shit. You have a wedding that you know will absolutely not go wrong. <laughs> Never. Never! It never goes wrong. Never goes everything. wrong. It'll be a perfect, <laughs> blissful... Ever reunion of fake characters on a television show that don't wear shirts. I just want a tiny he- cane head to pop out of the, the ring. <laughs> Me too. Me too. That was my first thought. With that would be nothing. excellent. Exactly. No, I have no expectations. I just want this to be great, and I want the interactivity that they're they're saying they're going to be doing, that they're touting uh, to not not take away from the product. I hope it's going to be <laughs> so an enhancement sword, and not, uh, not fall flat. And and uh, as you said, LB, I don't want the I don't want Raw to become TRL. Excellent. Total Raw. Josh, what do you want to see? I don't want to see. What do you want to see? I, I no, I I don't. That's not see. the question. I don't care what your fucking question is. Here's a list. That's of, not the question. Here's Chachi. a list of things I don't want to see on I'm this Raw. Changing right, the question. Right. I don't want to see a wedding. I don't want to see Brock Lesnar. I don't give a fuck about a DX reunion. Wow. Okay. All right. So Chachi's not going to watch the thousandth episode of Raw. I don't think it should be three yeah. fucking hours ever. That takes care of an hour of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. So you Bobby. want? Me? <laughs> I would like to see Paul Heyman take over as GM. That would be the one thing I want to see. 
Um, the reason Stone Cold's not there, I think he's still trapped on Redneck Island. <laughs> he is too. <laughs> and uh, AJ being awesome. Adorable. That, yeah. Adorable. That's there it. You go. There you go. Dude, we just want more of the same. Like, it's on. Okay, go ahead, Riz. We'll let you finish. But, but Sure, I'll, I'll finish, just like always. Um, but I would like to see in the wedding, I would like to see Dean Ambrose, the guy that everybody thinks is going to team up with AJ in the future, be like the priest and nothing go wrong. And it just keeps going through it, and everybody's so, waiting for the turn, like in the in Billy and Chuck or something like so that. So it's whatever. like it's like the practical joke wedding. Yeah, it's like everybody that was expecting he was supposed to be there or something like that, but it didn't happen. Wow, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, can, can I can I can I edit a little bit on that one? Um, sure. I would love that uh, that the uh, audience for the wedding however they set that up like is like jake the snake roberts and somehow the undertaker and uh and the mod well never mind oh uh, uh, i forgot it's made in heaven. and, and it's billy and shock why not right why not? well you just have them sit there i mean they don't have to be dressed to as billy, billy and Chuck. Chuck. just be them in tuxes or what just dress they, up no, they have to have the matching headbands the matching headbands they have to have the matching headbands yeah it's not billy and chuck without the matching headbands. why not be like like the 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 greatest homage to horrible wrestling weddings lita edge edge, yeah. edge is edge is supposedly edge. supposed to be there anyways um, who else has got Mary? Oh, Vicky will Stephanie be Stephanie and uh, Triple H. Stephanie yeah. and Triple H, you know? Come out with Test Stephanie off. drugged Snitsky. up on whatever. And Br- bring Snitsky too. back, you know? I mean, that's... That, uh, that, that, that wasn't his fault. It wasn't, wasn't his, his fault. fault. <laughs> so let, let's, just, let's just make it the greatest, like, inside-outside joke that we can. But so. since, since we're on the subject, I got, I got a little side track for this one. Um, do you want to do your favorite Raw moments, or want to... Can we do that already? I I, I don't know. It, it's a thousand episodes. It's kind of sure. too many to think of it for okay. me. I have two. You have two? I have two. Um, well, Chris Jericho all, making his debut against The Rock was my all-time favorite moment ever yeah, on wrestling. Yeah. Uh, another one is the bedpan incident with Mr. McMahon getting cracked over the head by Stone Cold with the bedpan, which huh. is hilarious to this day. Yeah, yeah. LB? Uh, Joey Styles losing his shit and yelling at everybody. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was it. Was the the pipe bomb pipe bomb version one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Riz, uh, choppy choppy. <laughs> <Your pee-pee. laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Um, <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. Actually, choppy choppy, your pee pee. He they actually showed him well the backside of. Of it happening, even though it turned out to not be real. Chachi, you know what Chachi's not favorite moment is? Shut up. Um, no, I actually uh, have to go with uh, Mick Foley's favorite moment from Raw. Yeah. Um, the first time he won the title. And so many people jumped from WCW to Raw to watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elf foot butts in the seats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Uh, for me, uh, I have to go with the thing that brought me back to WWF was uh, the Mike Tyson Stone Cold thing. Like the, the, the face-off, the fight that you see all the time. So, mm-hmm. um, But yeah, it, it, that's what brought me back. So that, that's kind of the, the, the one that sticks in the back of my mind. So that in the uh, as a runner up, the uh, current angle milk incident, I thought was tremendously oh, yeah, funny. That was great. Like I thought I was like, this is the greatest thing ever. But I was like really high on like he's the Pittsburgh guy. Let's awesome. Like, you know, you know, I was really, really big on that. That's a good time. parody so, of your thing. It was. It was it was amazing. And, and, and I really think the best part of his career was that version of Kurt Angle mm-hmm. was the the he was goofy i'm your olympic hero milk you know stuff you know why aren't you guys cheering for me and then when it came back around it was even better when everybody did start cheering for him um and he got to have the title win in pittsburgh and all that stuff so excellent excellent uh good topic starter there lb aces that's this week's remember when yeah 
Now Respect the pause. Now let's bring it down a notch for your minute of mayhem. Greetings, Mayhem Universe. It's Mad Mike once again with your minute of mayhem. Now I'm addressing everyone on the show except for Riz and Bobby because they can go fuck themselves because this is my goddamn minute. And I don't really give a fuck what your opinions are, if I should keep doing it or not. Anyway, um, I was going to talk about Raw, going to talk about Impact. Raw was okay, Impact kind of sucked. But I thought that John Cena could have done something a lot different with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Now, even though I predicted correctly that he was going to cash in on the 1000th Raw, wait till next week to see if the Undertaker shows up. Because if he does, I want full credit for that shit. But... On WWE.com, they revealed what the actual contents of the contract is. And it has a weird line in it that says the championship match is transferable. I think what they should have done, which would have been kind of cool, Cena comes out and says, hey, listen, you know what? I went to the Money in the Bank match to make sure Big Show didn't get the contract. And I did that. But see, the Money in the Bank, it should be for guys who haven't been given the opportunities I've been given. So Cena sets up like an eight-man tournament or a battle royal or something for the thousandth Raw and the winner gets his Money in the Bank briefcase. And then eventually that winner holds on to cash in against him, which would be amazing. But of course that's way too creative, so they're not going to do that. Instead we get Punk and Cena next week and Big Show will probably interfere, then we get a three-way at SummerSlam, blah, 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 and crap. But, anyway, now we have WrestlingData.com's Mad Mike Fact of the Week. Now, I was looking for something different, uh, so I checked title histories. You know, they were talking about championships this week on Raw a little bit, and it made me miss the Hardcore title. Because Hardcore title was one of the more fun parts of the Attitude Era. And I found out a really fascinating fact, even though Lunchbox probably won't like this because it involves Sean Stasiak. Now, um, as you guys know, or maybe don't know if you don't have a remember box like Russell Fan, the Hardcore Championship changed a whole bunch of times. I think Crash Holly had it for like 20-something reigns, Raven had for like 30-something reigns. But the most interesting statistic, Sean Stasiak had 15 reigns. Two things. One, uh... 20 points to Mad Mike for remembering my uh, my severe hatred for Sean Stasiak. And two, I would like to uh, take a moment to formally support Mad Mike's incarnation of the Minutes of Mayhem uh, because he's right. He's doing exactly the way he wants it. He does an original uh, video each week, and uh, he carves out the time to do that. So, Mad Mike, you get DJ Lunchboxes, too. Thumbs up. It's no monkey radio, though. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Mad Mike, Thumbs for that. Straight up as your ass. Usual. What? What? So uh, what? We, we mentioned a bit earlier. Well, first of all, I got to mention something came in the mail today. No, hold on. Oh God. Oh yes. Oh yes. And a few interesting facts. First of all, uh, very plain, very plain for the most part. Although the graphics are pretty awesome, have not even had a chance to stick it in the DVD player yet. Uh, I also want to notice that it is in Technicolor. According <laughs> to the back. That, that was a thing in the 80s. I, yeah, well, this is 1989, so, um, and I wish, I, I wish for the full experience, uh, since it scared the pants off of me when I was eight, uh, it would, it would have the, uh, the, the Dream Child Nightmare on Elm Street trailer in front of it, but I, I'm sure it doesn't. Uh, special feature, there's a photo gallery. Nice. Wow. I would, Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to probably pop this in while I edit this uh, very episode that you're listening to right now. So there you go. Um, also, not 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 eligible for the tout thing. Because um, so, it's opened. Yeah, I know. One disc. One disc. That's it. <laughs> no Blu-ray. I don't know if they... I don't think Blu-ray would help this thing. No um, director's commentary. No director's commentary, which is like I we I really wish they just like got some beers, got Vince McMahon, got Hulk Hogan in a room, and just you know maybe they did it like back just in let the nineties. Fuck it out. And boom, when they were, <laughs> you know they did it back in the nineties, like during the when they were like maybe setting up for the laser disc edition that never happened, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but 
you know, you know. Uh, but anyways, oh, the idea of a laser disc edition. <laughs> oh man, you could have bought it for thirty eight dollars on Amazon on VHS. <laughs> Isn't that uh, funny? Because this is uh, like this was like nine something on Amazon. So, and I do own the VHS. I don't even know where I found the VHS. It was only a few years ago that I found it. But uh, yeah, yep. <laughs> Uh, so with that, uh, yeah, we talked about it a little earlier, uh, but I, I'm curious you guys' thoughts. We also talked about it a little bit on Awesome Cast earlier tonight, episode 111, towards the end, <laughs> if you want to look at that. There's one on here for $130. There's what? There's, there's one on Amazon for $130. Oh, wow. Is that the original? Is it signed or anything? Or? Is it, uh, that's just it? It's just the straight up? It's straight up copy of the VHS factory sealed. Copied from TV. Somebody copy? got copied from TV. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, it, it really, it's one of those things. This is the first time it's been released on DVD ever after all these years. It, and there's people that have fond memories because they don't, they can't watch it to remember how bad it was. Um, it was horrible. It, it was a bad movie, but but they did the right thing. It's things. still good and it's horrible. It campiness, is. Though. It is. We should have done to remember when on No Holds Barred. Hold the presses. Stop What's the that? Presses. What's that? You can get a family double feature of ready for this, Mister Nanny, and Suburban <sighs> Commando oh. for eleven eighty three. Oh, eleven eighty three. I just. Oh, wait, I just added it to my wish list. <laughs> eleven eighty three. Seriously, there it is, right there. Added it to my wish list. Eleven eighty three. By the uh, way, Mister Nanny is also running on HBO uh, uh, right now, I think, or maybe it's Amazon Prime. Uh, if you want to check that out, Chachi, look up Tropic Thunder, or not Tropic Thunder. Uh, Thun- what was it? Thunder in Paradise. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> DVD. Yeah. Season one. Complete series. Bring it. Here you go. Here you go. There's the DVD I saw around. It's the Thunder in Paradise collection for 1818. <laughs> nice. uh, we also have VHSs uh, starting at 2.94 for the first one, starting at uh, 17.98 for the second one. <laughs> oh wow! You know, you know, it's coming out. Yeah, well, Thunder in Paradise came out like on DVD ages ago because I remember seeing it in like a bargain rack at a Kmart. Is a three disc set? Is it, there's no way this is like the entire series or anything like that this is probably <laughs> and first review surprisingly wonderful entertainment a missed buy mm. <laughs> all right a must missed buy a must buy a must buy also adding a to must buy. also adding to my wish list um <laughs> what is all this i can't believe how many hulk hogan and also surf ninjas um hey, anyways sorry that we've we've done gone down the hulk hogan rat hole um Wow. Did you no, put his no, you porn on yet. your wish list? <laughs> no, that's not available on put, Amazon yet. Put his porn on your wish I list. Can't, I don't think I can even do that. Do it. Are, are you saying we went balls deep in the Hulk Hogan rat hole? <laughs> we did. Oh, <laughs> oh, we did. Balls deep. Uh, so, okay, as I was going to say, we talked about earlier tonight, we, we, we talked about on here how we want to use it, uh, but what are you guys' opinions of this tout thing that popped up? And remember, WWE... Would, World Wrestling Entertainment has a financial stake in tout, as we talked about earlier on the Awesome Cast, um, and, and that's that's great. There's a uh, Derek Bateman, B- Bateman completely uh, dressed up in tout wire. That's 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 great. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think of it so far? I, how many of you guys have downloaded it already? I right. haven't. I'm on it. I, I haven't used it much. I don't tell. You don't tout. No. No, I don't. touted. A, I touted a thing, and I'm going to tout another one right now. Excellent, excellent. There you go. Live, live tout on the Wrestling Mayhem show. I don't, That's Tumblr. I don't tout. Fuck tout. But uh, but but, what do you think of their use of it? And and what do you guys uh, expect from the uh, raw interactive or raw active that they're going to be starring uh, this Monday? I uh, agree with zero. It's going to make raw far more annoying. Annoying. Yeah. Yes. You think they're not gonna? They're not gonna cue through it really well. Oh <laughs> man, hip toss, tout, <laughs> suplex, tout. tout. What did you think about that? Tout? They show like five videos of the same move. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed the first thing after after the greatest uh, hip toss in the history of the WWE. Tell us about it on tout. After after Money in the Bank, I know they had a lot of. Uh, 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 
videos of Money in a Bank getting on top, people pointing it at their television already. So uh, you know, you know how you remember how they used to cut old school promos during the matches? They, the wrestlers would pop up on that little bubble. Yeah, they're gonna do that with touts. Oh no! Oh, I hope that, not. That's what, the, that's what they should do. No, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. Mm-hmm. They absolutely no, they should not. But uh, so I mean, there's a lot. They have to, to, they have to fill oh, three what's hours. What's up, LB? Sorg, it's tout time. Okay. Oh, you ready for this? You. I'm ready for this. Shut up, Chachi. Fuck you. Ruin my tout. Fuck your oh. tout. Don't tout on this parade. Fuck you in the tout. What's up, guys? DJ Lunchbox. I'm doing a tout while I'm doing the Wrestling Mayhem show. Look, it's right there in the corner. Uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for more about tout. Dick knows. <laughs> they can't hear you. So, you know, yeah, they, they yeah, can't I know. hear any of that. I was trying to do 500 touts. I so, was trying to distract you from <laughs> doing your tout. By calling you a dick nose, mid tout. It worked. I have a huge erection. So whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, on my nose. <laughs> uh, Giant nose erection. <laughs> Just Sorry, your Go nose. And, and this was interesting. AJ was on the uh, awesome cast earlier, and I guess this this uh, company's been around for a little bit. Uh, I guess this is where Shaquille O'Neal announces retirement. Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. It's been around that long. And now it has this giant influx of people because they had it on Raw Monday night, which they were starting to get some errors. Uh, yeah. But it looks like it looks like for the most part they, they, uh, they worked out pretty well. So, yeah, the video up? starts playing before the video starts playing. What's that? A lot of times when you click the video, it starts playing while the other one... like it's The, the video starts as soon as you hit the page. And then it's then if you click again and the video starts playing over the <coughs> audio twice, it it's really weird. Huh? Wait, you say is this on? They the, need to fix it. Is this on the site or is this yeah, on? It's it's on the site. Okay, okay, and it's gonna come. Uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, it's still. I think it's gonna be interesting uh, to see what they do with this. It's something new, and they, with having a company with such a media presence like that. I mean, it really, you look at the front page, and you can tell. If you're not a wrestling fan and you've been on this or you find it, you're gonna you're gonna be like, why are there all these oily men on here? Because that's all you got. The first two are wrestlers, not even like household name wrestlers, and then Shaquille O'Neal, finally, and then Guy Fieri, and uh, and you look at the top, you it's <laughs> there's adorable AJ, <laughs> all the way until you get the live with Kelly in the last block. For uh, for uh, what is these featured? Follow New Year'sers. <laughs> these are okay. They're New Year'sers, so that makes sense, at least. Is that so, Kid Rock? Where? No, never mind. The guy in the green hat. That would be Brodus oh, that's, Clay. That's what, Brodus Clay. What is Brodus Clay doing on tout? Dancing. I wonder. Dancing. And also, also notice because like some ah. of these guys, I, I'm always so curious about how, so who, how many guys are obviously using their own camera, holding you know, self filming themselves versus. Uh, uh, apparently, apparently John Cena can't be troubled and uh, <laughs> cannot self tout himself because uh, everything I've seen has been set up for him. Is that masturbation? Uh, self touting? Yeah. Uh, tout touturation? Something like that? I don't know. So, um, oh, but I mean, still, some of this is pretty cool because uh, there's been him like deadlifting a shitload of weight on one of these touts. Um, but you know, from that gym that we saw in some of those uh, WrestleMania promos. So um, there he goes. Face is a WrestleMania promo. <sighs> so Tal, you're not gonna, you're 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 not getting rid of it. It it's it's here for no, at least not. for at least a little bit. It's so. gonna fail miserably. Fireball into the depths of hell with more fire. John Cena should have uh, put and a light Hitler, on the, and then the Hitler. Dumbbells. Hitler with the pineapple in his ass is going to piss all over Tout. Oh, no. When it gets to hell. <laughs> all right, all right. Chachi hates video. No, I hate Tout. You hate Tout. It's Why do you be hate like Tout? Because it's dumb. Join Keek. It's huge because they put $13 million into it. And started talking about it on Raw. They couldn't do it by themselves. No, no. But <laughs> and, and so now I'm going to have to watch Raw and watch... 14,000 touts per hour of Raw because they have time to fill. Yeah, yeah. Um, Matt Carlins, I was asking if Brodus Clay is uh, is tweeting, is uh, touting while driving. Looks like it. That, that looks illegal. 
that's the against the rules. I don't care how ba- how good you can dance. That's against the rules, Brutus Clay. Ciro's <laughs> uh, uh, with you, it looks like. He says, it's going to be a bunch of fans I don't want to hear about. So, I, it'll be interesting because I, 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 from what I saw last night, I think WWE has a chance here to sort of um, make the face of the fan. I don't care what my favorite moment for Raw was. <laughs> exactly. So what makes you think I give a shit what the touts on Raw last night? And I don't told think me? it's even about that. No, no, I, I, I'm thinking it, it. It really feels like like from the touts that they picked last night is uh you know they're going they're trying to make the wrestling fan cool. So they're finding the ones that are cool come off well on camera. Uh, not the real wrestling fans. You run into the normal wrestling fans at a show. You know, and you You mean the little Asian lady that won't get the fuck away from her side? <laughs> I actually, I actually specifically edited certain parts of the DVD so we don't encourage that. What what happened this weekend? Um, we'll, we'll get into that later. It's not. That's a, another conversation. Um, I'm interested in this. You're conversation interested in this now. conversation. This is a side conversation, but uh, it's. You listen. After a match is not the time for autographs. Use discretion when taking photographs at a live wrestling show. And the worst part was there are people working. Talk about tell tell us about this lady. So I'm running around ringside like I normally do with the video camera. Mm -hmm. That's what I get paid to do. Mm -hmm. However, I have to stop and go around this little Asian lady in the most flowery outfit ever. You can't standing, miss her because she's like green. Staying standing two inches from the apron, taking pictures during a match. Yeah, yeah. So, so no I mean, guardrails at this show. No, I, I don't think they could fit them in there. So I mean, if I if I do my job and go for the shot, then I'm the asshole that body checked the little old Asian lady at ringside because she kick her in the cookie because she was in my spot. And, 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 and as I was editing the DVD today, it, she keeps popping up out of nowhere. <laughs> She's everywhere. <laughs> and, then, Easter egg. and then, and then it's like it's like if you watch the DVD, uh, I, I think you're going to ha- see a story starting to be told about the Asian lady that that keeps coming up. Except for the stuff that I cut out that was after match. Uh, and, and then finally, the story ends. Maybe she's a plant. So the story ends with her walking up to Shane Taylor at the end after he just like laid waste to half the roster and just destroyed people uh, and, and, and destroyed people and then he, she just walks up with autograph and he just slaps it out of her hand <laughs> it's just like what are you saying Chach? uh wheels has given me permission to body check the asian lady at ringside yep oh. <laughs> i'm gonna lay that bitch out i even ran into her when i backed up from doing the wrap-up afterwards <laughs> so anyway she was standing behind you trying to get a fucking picture of the commentator? Yes! <laughs> oh, wow. Anyways, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if she got your picture. Probably. <laughs> she was close enough. Wow. Um. Shit. <laughs> I'm stuck Money in the that. bank. Money in the bank happened this weekend. Thank you, Riz. Tell me about it, please. Uh. Well, this one guy wrestled <laughs> this, this one other thing guy. Cli- one guy climbed the top and got the blue briefcase. And then, then later on, another guy won when he broke the thing. He ripped the fucking briefcase <laughs> off the hook. Let's talk about that. Yeah, the, the end of the John Cena match, which has us thinking, uh, yeah. what, was he supposed to win, guys? I don't think he was. So, I don't think he was. <laughs> I think he was. I think he was supposed was. to win, but I don't know if it was like that. Yeah, I think yeah. he was. I, Go ahead. I think, I think Jericho was supposed to win. For the reaction they showed of him just like, Smiling and just like, what just happened? And then yeah, showing Cena and being like, picture. what just happened? No, see, I think he was supposed to win, or else they would have changed it last night. But did they though, with him going after Dolph Ziggler, Jericho? No, I mean they would have, they would have corrected the mistake last night on Raw. Yeah, so true. whoever, whoever was supposed to have won, would have somehow ended up with the briefcase last night. And their normal storyline would have played out. Could be. Good, Bob. I think this is what's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but 
if if they if if Jericho was supposed to win, I think that him challenging Dolph Ziggler, I think he's going to challenge him for his Money in the Bank contract. And I think the original plan was for Jericho to go on tour with Fozzie, come back, and just cash in Money in the Bank whenever, so it would be a total surprise. Hmm. Could they be doing that? I don't know. It could be. could be. Um, I, see, I, I can't see them doing that. I, I mean, they do a lot of stuff with those briefcases. I can't see them giving it to someone that's leaving to go on tour and then having him randomly show up three months later and just cash it in. Well, and, 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 but I could see them doing something different because I think I think it was Matt Carlin's on Twitter we were talking with that was like, I'm sick of the, uh, they're going to go cash it in, but they get taken out before the bell rings, so it's not a real cash in. That we saw on the pay-per-view with Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. Mm. So it, it is time for them to do something different with it. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, like I said, I think I think Cena is going to lose next week, and they'll have a rematch for us. So he'll technically be the first one to lose a Money in the Bank briefcase match. So he, he confirms. Sick of it in the chat room. So why would they? Uh, why would they have a rematch at SummerSlam then? Yeah, uh, why not? You don't get a rematch clause with the Money in the Bank. Briefcase. Why not? It, it, they they can the story can lead to. It. In in the long run, and that's that's the rumored thing was that they're going to do that at SummerSlam. So, uh. <laughs> no, see, I think it's going to be the other way around. Like I told you, I think Cena's going to win uh, next week on Raw, and end with, like, uh, Ciro says, end the thousandth Raw with the title, mm-hmm. and then they're going to have a rematch at SummerSlam. Hmm. I think that's how it's going to go down. So either way, they are going to have a match at SummerSlam. Yeah, right. I think I think either way, this is going to set up for that. Whatever happens, is going to set up for them. So, I hope John uh, Cena's the first one to lose. Yeah, I, I go along with it. You know, um, and other than that, I I thought Money in the Bank was really good. Like, I, I really good. I, both both Money yeah, in the Bank excellent. matches were excellent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, throwing the Miz in there last minute. Uh, that was a really good match. Uh, you know, the maybe surprise ending thing. Um, Spot of the night, Dolph Ziggler over the top, over the uh, oh, <laughs> table. Man. Bouncing off the commentator's saying. chair was tremendous. And then coming back, climbing over uh, Tensai over the ladder. Yeah, yeah. That, that was pretty good. Uh, matches were good. The Daniel Bryan CM Punk thing. I know I saw like some tweets out there from some uh, 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 you know wrestling sites, journalists, whatever, saying you know what what the hell you know that didn't that didn't further the storyline anything like that. I don't give a That's fuck what did the storyline. Yeah, it, 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 it was a good fucking match. It was a good story. Mm-hmm. It was interesting. You didn't know what the fuck was going to happen. LB wasn't that you? It was like I don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I said that's what I said about that match. I said if people don't enjoy this match, they're not paying attention. What match? Exactly. Yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What? Exactly. <laughs> what, no, what yeah. match? Uh, the Daniel Bryan CM Punk one. That was the, the greatest view. match of the night. It, it, exactly. It's, it's it's match of the year it, candidate. AJ did exactly what AJ needed to do, mm-hmm. which was nothing. Love adorable. Yes. She she, and she passed. She came out as the ref, got hurt, mm-hmm. did the classic. Oh, I'm back to finish the match. It had a little part in the match, but it, it was mainly down to CM Punk and Bryan's to have a great match, and that's what they did. It, it's uh, it, uh yeah, it, it was it was entertaining. You didn't know where it was going to go, uh, and and that that worked for me. I don't need a resolution. I need a good. I need entertained at this point. You know, uh, that that that's why I'm there. I don't want to say, oh God, they're going to drag something there. I don't care. And I think they did close it with a tremendous match. And and I, I think they're gonna go from there. So maybe with a Brian Biz thing, could be, which I'm completely fine with. Completely Love to see fine that. with. Um, and what else happened? We had a uh, tag. Can we say tag team wrestling's back? No. Are we allowed to yet? Nope. Anybody else? Not yet. Not yet. Getting there. Not yet. It's, it's like, getting there. I mean, aren't we just all on our edges? It's like, really? Are we? Are we getting there? Is this? Are we building something here, guys? When when the tag team championships aren't defended on the pre-show, yeah. then it's changed. <laughs> but 
right now, not yet. But I think it's more interesting that you had the match on the pay-per-view. Either way, technically, you had two tag team matches on the pay-per-view. No, you didn't. Yeah, the pre you had one on Heat. Pre, yeah, you yeah. had a tag team heat. match on Heat. Okay, you had a tag okay. team title matches on Heat. Listen, last or, uh, Sunday to pay per view, the tag battle, the tag belt wasn't defended. Tag title. Uh, the Intercontinental title wasn't defended. But the uh, the, the, the United States title wasn't defended. And I can't remember the Divas. Way. Yeah, the no, Divas wasn't. title wasn't six defended. Six women's tag team. So that's four of your six belts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, from the chat room, they're saying, uh, not until the Briscoe brothers, uh, not until the Kings of Change for the fight for the titles. I don't know who that is. Um, Maybe it means the Kings of Wrestling? W- uh, it must be. That must be. Uh, w- WWE would turn the Briscoe brothers into the Godwins 2012 anyways. Kings of Wrestling. Okay, <laughs> yeah. what, what I was saying at the Buffalo Wild Wings... Next year, I want a Money in the Bank tag team match between four teams trying to get a get either yes. or get a contract to face the tag team championship. Yes, yes. I it's not going to be quite it, it's not going to be quite the okay somebody gets a chance because tag title matches are passed out, passed around like a loose whore anyways. Um, That's because yeah. there's not a tag division. No, exactly. Like a loose, it's like, whore. Oh, wow. <laughs> loose whore. Um, so, but, but still the spectacle of having a match like that will be more interesting. And it's, it's mm-hmm. somebody put out, the, the, what is, I forget who mentioned about them, like whoever gets the, like you have guys in there. Like have eight, got eight random guys oh, that and have two briefcases. That was my idea. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I guess an interesting, interesting idea, but I think it's too, uh, WCW lethal lottery to, to do that. I think it would be a great idea. But if it was one of those things where they're like, we need to rejuvenate the uh, tag team, like that was the stated goal, was to say, hey, let's get a tag team division, and and you have your, like, Shawn Michaels, John Cena, you know, or, you know, whatever mix, two guys thrown together kind of tag team like that. You know, your your Jarrah shows, your uh, uh, Ms. Big shows, your your whatever. So, yeah, TNA already did that with the, uh, the Feast or Fired match. Yeah, they did a little bit. Um, didn't they already also do that with that tag tournament? The last tag tournament? They basically did that with a tournament. They said, we don't have guys, and here's some makeshift teams. And, uh, it doesn't mean it was done uh, right. Yeah, it was no, done wasn't fucking done right. It, was, it wasn't done right at all. But we did get Magnus and Joe out of that, and that was a great team. For a thrown-together team, they had some great matches, and they actually did something with that belt for a little bit. So We also had ODB and Eric Young. Mm, who are still the Knockouts champions, by the way. <laughs> Have they defended that title yet? Not for a while. I think I think he's been injured. Oh. So He's uh, still in a show, isn't he? Yeah, he was doing I something on Animal Planet. They're supposed to be debuting, I think, this month. So there you I go. like how we go from money in the bank to Animal Planet. Yeah, well. And that brings me to my next point. Which is Pow! Horse. Horses in the Money in the Bank match. <laughs> <laughs> explain this. <laughs> Go ahead and explain this. But the, the Buffalo Wild Wings did not have the pay per view on until like two minutes till it actually started. No, it was two, two minutes, minutes after, into, actually. yeah. And they, they had, had horse the racing on the screen. The I said iPhone. the only reason I want, the only way I want to watch horses if they're climbing ladders for briefcases <laughs> against each other in a wrestling ring. Oh, uh, Kings of Change are Rex and uh, and uh, Hawkins. So I never remember them saying it. <laughs> I never, I never heard that before. What? Well, yeah, there's another team. Then they have matching tights. I always thought they were the Duke Busters. Then it was another tag. Yeah, team. somebody else. I, that was somebody I thought else. they were the the mid card mafia. What? <laughs> is that <laughs> your name on Twitter or something? Is like that, that your name? And what Twitter about all those teams that fought right back? Yes. There you go. Stan Stansky. Stan Stansky. Mm-hmm. Stan and Stansky. Willard Fillmore. Mm-hmm. Guys named after President Rosen, sort of. <laughs> wow. Um, geez, I don't even know what else there. Um, yeah, John Fun said Mid Card Mafia was on YouTube. Tell me if you guys are quite as angry about the new Mark character on Are nope. You Serious? No. Nope. Okay. I never. I didn't watch it, so no. So they they did a character. I think he's called Mark, and he's smart. And he has a different T-shirt uh, but, every time, like a Dave Taylor T-shirt. 
and then and then he's yelling his mom because uh, uh, dinner is being warmed up. Is um, it Russell fan? <laughs> I don't know. Those. Russell fan doesn't like it. Is that Russell fan? Russell fan doesn't like it. Of course he doesn't like it. It's him. <laughs> I, I told Russell fan on Facebook if he's mad about this, he needs to reevaluate his life and <laughs> think about his choices. <laughs> no, it's exactly what Russell fan is. He's a, he, uh, you don't want to say he's a mark, but he he does get angry at stuff when it's not good. And, and you can't get mad at WWE for something. This is sure. actually something smart by WWE because they're acknowledging this. Granted, mm-hmm. on their YouTube channel, which, by the way, is consistently in the top 10 or 20 uh, YouTube channels uh, week, week to week. So, and Russell Fan, I didn't call you a mark. And it's a comedy so skit. Don't put me off on like you, like Mad Mike did. Exactly. Um. Hold on, I, I want to try to pull up the character here. I, I think even Joe Dombrowski liked it. He was talking about it on Facebook. Um, okay, creepy one, creepy one. Here he is. So this is him, and he's wearing a t-shirt, Save the Indies. Of course, puppets. They love to use puppets on this show, um, which is nothing wrong with that. And I think I... Right, Bobby? I use puppets. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why he's mad. Because it's a puppet? Because it's a puppet, and it's not telling him to make his bed like it should be. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's exactly the reason. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Um, wow. Yeah, and then he uh, uh, somehow the next shot he changes to a shirt that says Dave Taylor. Why not? Hey, yeah, sure, sure. Why the fuck not? <laughs> and there's Puppet H. Um, <laughs> sure. My puppet. When you get T-shirts for your uh, Hulk Hogan wrestle buddy, I should. Yes. If someone can make me a T-shirt, with it, I'll put it on. We can, uh, we can, we can make a rip 'em shirt. We can make a, uh, I don't know, something. balls deep, balls deep, <laughs> balls deep shirt. Oh, balls Gosh, deep in this Hulk Hogan lettering. Somebody, somebody uses T-shirts somebody. out there. It, it, you need to s- s- get a pattern for T-shirts for Wrestle Buddies, <laughs> and exactly. we'll get that hooked up. He needs more clothes. Some Comic Con. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How many people have wrestle buddies that you can really? Uh, I don't think that's a that's a big niche market there, huh? Hey, didn't they? Have, I think I saw like some pictures at Comic Con. They actually had the wrestle like the like like life size wrestle buddies there. What? Whoa. Or like they had like for you know probably blow up dolls or something like Sarah that. Sarah Underwood it was, was wearing it was a John for Cena the wrestle, giant wrestle buddies that the WWE are going to sell. Or they so, they try to sell and then took off the shelves. For some reason, you know that. What's that? On, on G four, Sarah Underwood, Underwood was wearing a giant John Cena like inflatable costume, almost like a sumo suit. A sumo suit. Sumo <laughs> suit. Yeah, it was, it was a cool. super suit. Uh, Cena suit. Yeah. So the other, the, uh, did you guys see this news about the all oh, these guys getting in a car accident? Yes. Dolph Ziggler, Zack Ryder, and Justin Roberts were all involved in a car accident, uh, leaving Comic Con in San Diego. Um, Dolph Ziggler through th- flew through the windshield. Yeah, yeah. supposedly uh, he went up and went through the windshield the with his seatbelt on. <laughs> he uh, oversold it. Yep, yep. Uh, the meme the, that was the the excuse me the best thing for that meme because you saw it everywhere. Uh, Bosch Spot had a comic for it. Uh, it. It was just everywhere. Um, so hey, and obviously doing doing well. They 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 were at their shows and everything. So. Um, obviously, you know, we saw him on Raw and, and the pay-per-view, so all good there. Justin Roberts, meh. <laughs> I don't yep. care that Justin Roberts was care. in a car accident, you're saying. I give no fucks. About Justin Roberts. You, you, you know, know what was in the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase? Job. What's that? You know what was in the Money in the Bank briefca- What's briefcase? What's that? What's that? Better car insurance. Better car and insurance? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to touch on before we get out of here today? Meh. 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 Kind of did it. All right. All right. So, uh, DJ Lunchbox. Yo. Tell me what you learned from wrestling this week. Oh, what did I learn from wrestling this week? Uh, they just keep spending time on Tensai. Yeah. Yeah. He, he must be really good at, at playing with balls because wow man they just keep coming back to him i agree with uh jehovah in the chat room hmm. 
Uh, he said, I would like to touch on AJ. Literally. <laughs> yep. <laughs> also, Ciro yeah. says, uh, Ziggler That's sells... Horrible. Ziggler spells, sells better than TNA tickets. <laughs> and they're free. Uh, WrestleFan, yeah. WrestleFan is apparently, he, he's home from work. He says, uh, one, I wasn't mad about it. Yes. Two, you're saying it's a problem that I hate things that are bad. Think about that. Yeah, okay, I thought about it. No, no. Yeah, he's still, uh, three, still WWE mad thinks, over things that you shouldn't get mad about. WWE, WWE thinks that smart marks are fans of WCW for some reason. I don't think that's a wide... I think I think the tone of the conversation is what they're making fun of, not the fact that he liked WCW. And the whole show is about WCW being bad. So, yeah. I disagree with you, sir, and I don't have three points to come back at you. Right. Um, he mentioned that the Kiss Demon was a trendsetter. I disagree with you, sir. What? I have no idea. Do you know what you learned from wrestling Shachi's this week? drunk. I learned that uh, it tout is terrible. <laughs> um, three hours of Raw is going to be bad. Because if... All right. And you always say that I have to back up when I say something is bad. Yes, because you just so, say it's bad and you leave it at that. Here is the... Uh, here is the backup for the tout. I've already received one. Yes. I don't have an account. Wait, you've received a tout? Like, somebody Who has sent you a tout? tout. Yeah. John Fun did. John Fun sent me a tout. Uh, which makes him my least favorite fan of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. The first time I've ever handed out that award. Um, but no. Uh, so you won, Chachi. If, uh, if, if they have to resort to a wedding, um... Charlie Sheen being the social media ambassador. Uh, he deleted, his <laughs> he deleted his Twitter account. <laughs> and, uh, and a DX reunion for three hours of Raw. And The Rock. And the title match. Yeah. And the other stuff. Yeah. It's a, laser. You're pulling out the, this all the stops, man. Yeah, no. They're loaded in all six barrels. Literally, there were six barrels they were showing with yeah, the it, pictures. There's no. six things that are happening. It's not going to... No. Because they can't, they can't keep that up the whole time. Like for you're talking about for the three hours or yeah. afterwards? No, for the three hours. Okay, you you're saying Is you're going to be bored by the three hours on Monday? Yes. Okay, I, I'm curious to see. I'm bored half the time by the first half hour. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we'll see where you go. Yeah. All right, Riz, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned two things actually. One. AJ is so adorable. You learned that last week. <laughs> you learned that I don't care. every time she comes out. Every time she comes out, she's adorable. And two, I learned that those three matches that you can vote for, they're probably going to be on the Raw anyways. All three matches? All three matches. Okay. They should be. The title matches. The, uh, the title inter matches. Intercontinental, the US, or Divas match. Yeah. What do you want to see? They should be on Raw because... You have three hours to fill. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm only going to vote for Layla or the Divas title if Karma's there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, do I have a Karma rider on that match to vote for it? Bobby, what'd you learn? I learned two things. AJ said, yes, yes, yes. The and uh, this is my going back to the Mad Mike thing. Um, I learned this is the amount of fucks I give. On this piece of paper. <laughs> uh, zero. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. High five, Bobby. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I would just like to address Matt Carlin's in the chat room. Uh, there isn't a fan of the week cost. There um, used to be. Contest. We used to hand it out. Um, we haven't been doing that lately. This is a random worst fan of the week. We should. We should, though. My, my Twitter fan of the week is that new age Amazon. Oh, I thought you were saying. I thought you were saying that we should do worst. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's that is demeaning <laughs> and not a positive spin on that. You send me a tout, you win worst fan of the week. <laughs> Everybody, he's Chachi says. Everybody said Chachi a tout. Just find it on Facebook. He, he sent me a link. Just look up, look up. Tout. Everybody send touts the Chachi this week. I'm gonna okay. fucking destroy you. Can I send you. him a geek also? And the one that pisses him off most, I'll I'll send you something. I don't know. I'll send you I will fucking. Or something. 
I I must send stickers to everybody that sends him a towel. <laughs> He's at Chachi Says on Twitter. You can find him on <laughs> Google Plus as Anthony Walker. You can uh I'm gonna fucking destroy you. <laughs> I'm gonna send him a whole forty five seconds, one towel and one key. I know where you live. I have a key to your house. <laughs> when you're sleeping, I'm gonna show up and do bad, bad things to you. Oh, Good no. luck getting through the water. <laughs> No, he's pointing at me. Yeah. He's pointing at I will, me. I will fucking I, destroy you. From the chat room, no one... No, the, the, that's the other thing. I also learned Man, Wrestle Fan. Man, Wrestle Fan. I also learned that uh, uh, no matter... What's up, guys? This is DJ Lunchbox on Tau, and I just want to take a quick second to give a shout-out oh. to my homie, <laughs> at Chachi Says on Twitter. Fuck uh, you! ChachiPlays.com. He is a wonderful man. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That was a positive count. Yo, <laughs> fuck that was. yourself. Everybody yeah, give public. Yeah. You know, well, Chachi's tweeting all I'm... the time at work about how bad his day is and the people he's dealing with. He's so negative all the time. Everybody send him supportive touts throughout the day. Okay. Every time you see him blasting somebody on Twitter, just be like, Chachi, it's okay. You, you are, you're number one, sir. You have a most... good day. You be... have a great day. I'm going to be the most popular person on tout. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be John Cena. It's gonna be John Cena, uh Zack Ryder, Chachi says, and Derek Raymond. Live with Kelly. Yep. Chachi. Yeah. I I went to send the message and I started typing Chachikins <laughs> and uh my phone knows Chachikins. It predictive <laughs> texted Chachikins. Nice, you've trained it. You've trained it. Oh wow. Um, I learned, cool. Ciro learned the towel will make Raw worse, where Kishi plus the Usos dancing made me uh, get nostalgic, and I, I, TNA has a good thing going with the Aces and Eights. Can we touch on how awesome that had to have been for all three of them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just, That's better. I, I'm not mad about Bruce Clay not coming out for that. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you give you give the Usos... And Rikishi, like, their 30 seconds of dancing. Because, mm -hmm. honestly, that's all they needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then you send Brodus Clay out, and you just have this grand old dance-off in the ring? Yeah. That would have been amazing. I, I, the, other, the other way I would have liked to turn it is they did, did the Rikishi dance, and then if they stopped, and then did the Yusu dance. Like, he did the Uso dance with them. Like one of the Simone like, dances. Yeah, I think like, that was that was spinning back around. I, th I thought that would have been cool. But, hey, I'm, they, I'm really happy that I got out of back. that. They are brought too cool yeah, back, really? No, no, really? No, no, no. Last yeah. time they brought... Time... This rule, Brian Christopher out again. <laughs> yeah, he didn't look state. good last time he was out there. He looked worse than Marty Jannetty. Who you'll oh. see in IWC at the Legends at Butler PA on August 18th, IWCWrestling.com. Um, hey, you know. Uh, no, no, I hope he doesn't see this. We'll get there. <laughs> um, yeah, is that it? No one gives no. a shit what Russell fan so, thinks. Okay. Sorg, did you say something? Did you say I, what you I, um, I said stuff. I don't know. I don't even know. Um, I I learned a lot of things about things that can go wrong in indie wrestling uh, this weekend. Uh, and uh, uh, and as far as the the, the money banks, I, I'm going with money banks. The new Royal Rumble for me. I'm really glad they didn't cancel. I can't believe they almost canceled it this year. Uh, but that has been consistently the last couple of years. It's the, the most unpredictable. And on top of that, they've had time to have great matches. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they had the Punk Cena thing last year. They had the, oh, hey, Punk Daniel Bryan thing this year. Um, they had a good line of matches, a lot of surprises. Uh, and I, I hope they keep it up. It's great. I love it. I love it. So, um, and ridiculous. I mean, how many times will we be sitting there in, in, in Buffalo Wild Wings and just audibly, like, screaming, like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at the screen with those matches. There was not one. Okay, there was actually two bad matches there, mm -hmm. and that was the two matches they actually. And it didn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It, no, it didn't matter because yeah. the other we're, matches were excellent. Can't even get mad at a Ryback thing. Can't get mad at whatever that other match was. I can't remember. I think, I think it match was um, the Prima the Rio and, and, and uh, only because it followed the first Money in the Bank, bank match, which that was and, a hard uh, match to follow. It was. It was, it was. a tag team match. I couldn't get. I couldn't get into it. And it, uh, the tag team, the tag team match, I thought was good. Yeah. Like I thought yeah. it was a damn good uh, 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 tag team. Even match. though it was racist as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, you got. Yes, your tag team champions were on the pre-show. But the better match out of the two, I guarantee you, was there in the middle of the show. Let's go with that. 
All right, on that point, guys, hey, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can find out more about us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on iTunes, Blip TV, Roku, and Stitcher. We're here every Tuesday night, round about 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You might have to sit through a little bit of video game talk before we get to that. Sometimes we run late. Actually, it's been most of the time lately. Um, Who cares? It's us. If you like it, rate it. Tell it's me, us. it's Chachi, it's sometimes Bobby. Tell us. Tag us, hashtag WMS. If you're hitting us up on Twitter, at Mayhem Show, on Facebook, or Google+, Plus, you can tag comments and, and anything uh, from regarding stuff we talk about on this show. Hashtag WMS329 uh, for this episode number, specifically. Uh, you can also drop us emails the good old-fashioned way at... Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or over at 412-206-WMS0. Um, and, of course, all those things are linked from the WMS Gold app. Uh, $1.99 on your iOS or Amazon app stores. Go check that out. Guys, tout us. Say hi to us. We'll see you guys on Monday nights for Raw. And I'm sure somebody's watching uh, Impact and uh, SmackDown Live. Uh, you can check in with them as well. So keep an eye on the Mayhem Show account. It's going to be way more active during all those shows. We're going to make sure of it here in the future. Um, I know a few guys uh, just got some access to some new wrestling Mayhem Show account stuff that might be around here. <gasps> Who did? So you're going to see a lot more activity there, we hope. All right, guys. Uh, with that, for, for the Bobby, for the Riz, for the TJLB, even the Chachi, and... All the great guys in the chat room and all of our contributors, Russell Fan and Mike, Mad Mike, and everybody else, even Big Freaky. Thanks, G Raver and Scott Saren, for the interview. Uh, can't wait to see them next time at RWA, uh, rwalive.com, and see what's going on there. We'll see you guys. Mayhem out.